All right, I am out with the E Revo again today. I'm uh, gonna test out the new Badland tires. These are the Proline Badlands. Um, been having some issues with the truck. Uh, push rods, those in the back here are new. I've been both of those. Uh, I installed this new wheelie bar. Um, I had to, on the body here, add some washers. The fronts, they just keep popping right out and through the body. So I doubled up on the washers all the way around the holes here. So hopefully that holds up. Uh, I put the new chassis brace on here because the one I had bent. I keep having issues here with this body mount brace. Um, the hole in here for this screw isn't really threaded. Um, doesn't have a whole lot of support. I have a new aluminum one. It should be in today. Don't really know how well that's going to help. Um, but uh, we'll see how everything holds up. I think I do have a bent tow rod. I'm not 100% sure. I did change the ends on one of them because I think it was a little bent. But uh, other than that, everything on the truck is stock. Uh, the back shocks are the upgraded um, titanium shaft ones. Stock ones in the front still. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any issues with the truck in the front. It's just the rear really takes a beating. Um, so that's where the issues are there. So I'm going to go out to the bike park here and just uh, take it a little bit easy. Hit some jumps. Just try to get some good shots and have a little fun. And see how these tires perform. Well, that wheelie bar didn't hold up. It popped off on the first jump. Uh, I don't know why that happened. Maybe I had it on wrong or something, but it seemed to pop right off. Not too happy about that. You got like three feet of air that time. So the tires seem real nice. They hook up really well. Definitely better traction. Way better traction than the stock tires for sure. Okay, so I'm really ticked off. Already got an extremely bent push rod, and I haven't even aired it out or done anything. And that fucking push rod right there, excuse my language, I'm really mad, is bent. I mean, I haven't even launched it. Yeah, it's taken a few tumbles, but I mean, it has to be able to take a couple of tumbles without bending a push rod. Look at that thing, it's bent. You can see it when that wheel rolls. How bent it is. That's what, how I noticed it. So I guess I'm just going to keep running it. I have more at home, but I mean, I haven't even hit any of the big jumps. I've just been hitting these little ones here. This little kicker here. And I've been landing on it pretty decent. But it hasn't even been that bad. And that thing bends. So uh, I'm going to have to find some stronger push rods or something. I'm, I'm just, I'm really disappointed with this truck right now. Every time I go out, something breaks. Uh, the first couple of days, I was hitting these big jumps. So I understand that. You know, that was my fault. I was airing it out too much. But I'm literally just trying to test out these tires and not break anything. And that push rod just bends. What's up everyone? I am back from trying to see how these tires do and how the truck's going to hold up. Uh, the tires are great. They definitely hook up really well. I definitely would recommend them. Now I haven't tried anything else, but over these stock tires that it came with, 
they just hook up way better. Uh, I mean, it's not even a question. It would slide all over the place, and, and these you can definitely uh, get on the throttle more, and, and they grip. So hopefully they last a while. Uh, they they hook up. Highly recommend the tires. Made a big difference for me. Um, but uh, as you can see from the clips, I'm not happy. Um, I bent a push rod again. I have some already. I'm going to have to order more. Um, doesn't look like this one is bent here, but this one is definitely bent. Um, this wing mount here, this just popped off from the, the brace up there. But that looked like that held up. The um, chassis brace here, this did not bend. Like the other one I had bent real quick. I uh, tried to put two on there for extra support, but that didn't work. Um, well, I did pop a screw out that goes in there. But that hole for that one there is not threaded into the, the chassis. So I don't know how the stock screw that was in there. But um, I took it all apart because I was trying to see if this piece in here, like the bulkhead, had threads in it. But it's just an empty hole with nothing in there. Because um, I had bought the other pieces there. So I tried that. But uh, I don't think you really need that screw. The brace seems to be holding up. Um, I'm not sure what's going on in the front, but, um, my wheels don't, the toe on this one seems to be way out, even though the links are the same, and they don't look bent or anything, so I'm gonna have to mess around with, uh, toe adjustment, I guess, um, to see what's going on there. Uh, maybe this toe link is bent. It's definitely weak if you push on them. They definitely don't feel that strong. You can just flex them. Well, it's hard to tell, but you can see this one's got way more towed out. Um, and I'm not sure why, because the links are the same length. Um, there is no camber adjustment, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't really like that, but um, I guess you can... Uh, I don't think that pushing these push rods out is going to do anything, but... Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but I mean, I'm starting to get the hang of the driving a little bit with the jumps uh, and the speeds and everything. I have to hit them at. Uh, I was getting better landings. Like I said, some of the stuff breaking is, I understand it. I know it's not indestructible, but I haven't really aired it out that crazy to where you would think it would do stuff. When I bent that push rod, I was not going crazy. I was just trying to feel out the tires, see what kind of traction I had. I was just hitting little jumps, but I think the truck weighs so much when you come down on the, an angle, it just, it really bends it. So I'm gonna have to do some research and try to find uh, some titanium ones or something um, that I can replace these with that won't bend. Uh, where they're bending is right on the, right on the end of the rod itself. Um, so, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, this one is it's tweaked just a little bit. I, I ran it for the rest of the time, um, but it's, it's still really upsetting me. I know um, another channel, uh, Outsourced RC, shout out to him. He uh, just got some Inter-G titanium push rods, and he definitely doesn't recommend them. I don't like the design of them where that brass he had was popping out. So, that makes sense. I'm not going to go with those. But um, obviously my wheelie bar popped right off, but I think it just slides onto there. So I guess I can't really have that unless I'm just going to be doing some road stuff. Maybe I get some road tires and just do some wheelies. I don't know. I'm not really that into that. I guess kind of wasting my money on that wheelie bar. I, I thought it might help, but I guess it's just going to pop off when I don't land right. So yeah, that was my fault. Bad idea. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, I just was trying to get some stuff to soften up the back when I don't land right, but, um, you know, I'm going to keep working with the truck. I'm going to keep trying to get it more solid. Like so far the front has been good. I haven't had any issues other than this wheel being tweaked out a little bit. Um, I do have a tow gauge, but I don't know if it's going to work on this setup, but, um, yeah, I'll have to try to figure out something and see what is up with the toe on there. Um, cause you, you really want your toe to be equal. So the truck tracks, right. Um, but the back today seemed okay. Minus that one push rod. 
Um, or maybe this one. I'll have to pop it off and look. Luckily, they're super simple to change and everything, but I'm not happy that they're going to be bending because they're $8 each, and then I got to pay... Well, no, I, got them, I can get them on eBay and not have to pay shipping. Um, so it just kind of stinks because, I mean, that's $8 every time I go out or more if I bend more. And, I mean, I haven't even gone till I've hit the low voltage cutoff. Uh, people are kind of starting to come on their bikes and stuff. I don't think they were going to hit the jumps where I was, but uh, I was starting to get hot again and stuff. It's cool in the morning, so I try to get out before it gets too hot. But, um, yeah, I'm going to replace these push rods on this thing and just uh, keep driving it and uh, definitely update more and let you know how it's going but uh yeah thanks for watching the video everyone uh don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're not i've been growing a little bit slowly over time here i'm definitely trying to get those up so if you guys could give me a sub i'd really appreciate it thanks